Hi everybody, my name is Andy Carter. Welcome down to eGolf TV. In today's video, I'm going to be talking you through the Srixon ZX Iron Series. We're going to be talking through the models of the ZX4, the ZX5 and the ZX7 to help you kind of determine which clubs you think you should be best suited for and also what they do differently to the previous models that Srixon did bring to market. Right, we're going to start with the ZX4 and 5 irons. We're going to be talking a little bit about the mainframe technology in the heads. The mainframe technology is a variable thickness pattern of the grooves, the channels and the cavities which basically be found on the back side of the irons and you will find that mainframe technology in the four and the five irons but you'll also find it in the utility irons as well right first of all i'm going to hit the zx5 see how this feels off the face as i look down at it it's actually even though it's a game improvement iron it's not like ridiculously chunky sometimes you do get some clubs that they call the game improvement and when you look down you can sometimes see the sole of the face which personally i hate when you look down so actually the leading edge is a little bit on the thick side but other than that, it does look very inviting. Oh, wow, that feels amazing. The groove technology in these irons is really interesting. So basically from three to seven irons, it's a wider set grooves, but then when you get down to eight to the A wedge, which is your approach wedge, the grooves become a little bit narrower and a little bit deeper. So that's basically giving you more feel and basically when the ball lands a bit more spin. The grooves inside have been also milled. So the attention to detail by Shrixen on improving the grooves and kind of giving you a little bit more forgiveness on those longer irons in terms of the way you strike the golf ball. So the shorter, the mid and the shorter irons for kind of a bit more spin, a bit more height, a bit more feel is a really valuable addition to all of the irons from the ZX4, 5 and 7. Right, moving into the ZX7. So this is basically the club that is designed for tall pros, your better players, your lower handicappers. The, the forgiveness throughout the face is a little bit less than what you would find in the 4 and the 5, but the workability of the head will be a lot more so if you want to draw the ball if you want to fade the ball if you want to try and control the trajectory with higher or lower shots this is definitely going to be the club for you it's definitely going to be a lot easier and better to work the golf ball as opposed to the four and the five so let's give that a try let's try and hit a little draw oh there's the draw right the ultimate test this is not just the club this is a little bit of me as well can we fade it because that was a pure draw. All right, a little fade. That felt amazing off the face, by the way. That was middled. Oh, and there's the fade. Oh, I will take a set, please, and a four to pitching wedge. That felt amazing. Right, last shot. We're even going to try and hit the ball a little bit low to try and control the trajectory on this, just to kind of see if it really can be controlled. Oh, lovely strike. Really nice flight as it took off from the face as well. Guys, don't just take my word from it. Head down to eGolf, get fitted. Make sure you get yourself into the right one. Like, like with all manufacturers, there are th generally three different options on heads. Shrixen, I think, have really got this spot on with the four and the five and then down and up into the seven, if you look at it from that perspective, in terms of the type of play that it can suit. And it basically... I feel like I've just proven it does what it says on the tin. This is a very workable head, which feels very comfortable off the face, very soft feel, but delivers some really nice shots. Also, testing out the four and the five, the way the ball feels off the face, it kind of really does feel like it catapults up there. So definitely a higher trajectory, it's a higher ball flight, which is better for the, for the higher handicapped golfers to get the ball airborne, but also helps you control the spin on the ball as well in terms of missing the ball or target left and right make sure you subscribe to the channel plenty more content to come from the channel as well